Well, Mark, um, thank you so much for, for being part of our Labs of Democracy project. Um, and you are a true transatlanticist. Why, why are you a true, true transatlanticist? Why do you believe in the transatlantic relationship? I think for me, it, it starts with family and the fact that I have family from, from all over the world, starting in South Africa and then Europe and, and then immigrating to the United States. Um, and I represent an area that's very multicultural. I represent Silicon Valley. We have, uh, you know, a lot of great ideas and minds and people and cultures um, from, from all over the world, but especially a lot from, from Europe. And uh, I want more from Germany. Uh, and, and so that's why. And I see the great ideas that people bring, you know, from, from wherever they're from that strengthens my community and strengthens California and Silicon Valley and, and makes us better. And I think the more interaction there is between, you know, people in, in California and people on the other side of the Atlantic, it, it makes us a stronger world, um, which I, I, from personal experiences and things I've seen, it's really important for us to have those strong relationships and understanding of different cultures and, and different people and respect. This year we are focusing on digitalization in our labs of democracy. Is there anything you've, uh, you would take home and is there anything which you would recommend to our German state legislators to think about? I, I think we've heard a lot of interesting ideas that I really want myself, my colleagues and a lot of our civic leaders to consider. Uh, I think the way Germany does education uh, and how it has a priority on the more practical, on apprenticeships and actually doing work is not so theoretical, it's not so academic. It can be for some people, but not necessarily for everybody, is something that California can learn a lot from. And as we face the impacts of digitalization and, and the impacts that it's going to have on our workforce, um, I think finding ways for, for upskilling and people's ability to, to learn while you earn that I think Germany has a better infrastructure for uh, is something that I think California can really adopt a lot uh, from and, and learn a lot from. Um, in terms of what Germany can take from us, I'll defer to my German colleagues. Um, but, I, you know, meeting a lot of the businesses around here, um, he, we have so many similar challenges. Um, and, and so I think, you know, there's, there's a lot, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, transportation, uh, the impact on the workforce, uh, cybersecurity, AI, you know, there's a lot of similarities between what's happening in Germany, what's happening in Stuttgart, um, and what's happening in California. So I think there's a lot that we've learned that, that we can turn into actionable items when we go back home. So the last few days um, here in Stuttgart have been pretty packed, um, yeah. and you and you did have to do a lot of work beforehand. So it's uh, it is time intensive. Mm -hmm. um, but would you recommend participating um, in the program? Would you do it again? Is, is that an invitation? Because that, that oh, we would love to have you again. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I would absolutely recommend it to anybody. Um, you know, getting to know my colleagues. You know, getting to know you know you and your colleagues from the Aspen Institute, Vivka and Bennett, uh, have been a lot of fun. It's been a great opportunity. Um, um, and honestly, I think there are things that I'm going to go back and think about, you know, how does that fit in California um, for, for the ways that, you know, some of the things that we've learned over the last couple of days slash year and a half uh, with our Zoom meetings. And, um, you know, it's been very, very um, worthwhile to participate. Well, we loved having you and we hope that we stay very well connected. Thank you so much. Thanks, Stormy. <laughs>